Hey everybody, it's Eric here and today we are in the brand new Ableton Live 10 and we're talking about themes or skins if you're coming from Live 9 basically the way that Ableton looks we want to try and customize the colors, the buttons, and things like that so in Ableton Live 9 I had some custom skins but when I tried to put those into Ableton 10 it did not like them so needed to figure out how to do that and that's what we're going to show you guys today so that you can customize your own Ableton Live 10 and look however you want. So the first thing we're going to do is check out the themes that it comes with. And that's because uh, we're gonna, we need to pick one and use that as a start point. So you want to pick the one that is the closest to the way you intend for it to look. So we got light, mid light, mid dark, dark, and live nine. So I went with dark. So the place that those theme files are located, if you open up Finder window, go to your applications, Ableton Live 10 Suite, you want to option click and hit show package contents. Go to contents, app resources, and themes. So you can see uh, zero through four here, are the ones that it comes with. And this is the one I made that we're going to see in a little bit. But so as we said, we're going to start with dark. So you want to make a copy of this. So we're going to option click, hit duplicate, and delete copy, but leave the extension and then just give it a name. So we'll call it new theme. All right. So now we need to open this file up in a plain text editor. So we're going to option click again, go to open with, hit other. So the app that we're going to use is called literally plain text editor and that is because I first tried to do this with text edit but after saving the file for some reason Ableton didn't like it it said that it was corrupt so I did some research and found this uh, which does work and you can get it from alpha omega software.com it uh, I think it has like a 14 day trial I bought it but you guys can just use the trial if you don't want to pay for it so we're going to use that, hit open. All right, so as you can see, we have a ton of code here and it's very daunting. It's like, what does all this mean? But it's actually pretty simple. So let's just uh, start with the first one here. So as you can see, it says control foreground and then there's an RGB value. So what we want to do is go to Google and just type in RGB color picker. And that's going to bring this up. So now what we can do is type in colors and see what they are or vice versa. Pick a color and see what the code is. So it's a bit of a game of trial and error. Some of these names are obvious, like transport buttons and things like that. But a lot of them, you can only find out what they are by changing the color and then seeing what changes here. All right. So let's show you guys how we're going to do that. So let's say that we want to change the color of these buttons to, I don't know, like neon green. All right, so the first thing we need to do is find out what color this is. So we're gonna use the picker to get as close as we can to that color. All right, that, that looks pretty close. As long as you're in the ballpark. So what we can see is that it's a, a 200 number, a 100 number, and then a low number. So now we're going to skim the theme file for a set of these RGB values that matches uh, or is close to that. So let's scroll down. All right, so here's one right here. View check control enabled on. So we got 255, 181, and 50. So let's try that and see what changes. So let's find the color we want to go to. Let's do like this green. That's fine. So we got 99, 242, 67. So we're gonna come back here and we're gonna go 99, 242, 67, that's what I said, right? Yep, okay. So now we're gonna hit Command S and save it. Now we're gonna come back to Ableton. And we're gonna go to that theme Why is it not there? 
Okay, sorry. You have to close the preferences dialog and reopen it to make it show up. So here we go. New theme. So, okay. So here we got our green buttons. So you can see that that control we just changed changed this and these. So now if we go back to dark, you can see now they're back to yellow. But that's fine, right? Because if we're changing these to green, those should be green too, right? Or I mean, you can do whatever you want. But So let's try and find these buttons still and try and get them that same green color. So we'll go back to dark, come back to the code. And we're going to keep scrolling and looking for those numbers again. All right, so here we go. We got chosen default. 255, 181, 50. So let's change that to 99, 242, 67. 99, 242, 67. Okay, Command S to save. Come back to Ableton. And there we go. So now we get all green buttons. So it's basically the same thing for, for every other control. You just, like if we wanted to change this blue, you're basically just going to pull this up, try and match that color as best as you can. So whatever, you get the idea. And then you look for it in the thing and change it. So it's just trial and error of swapping back and forth between the theme that you started with and the new one to see what changed so that you can learn and then make it whatever you want it to. Cool. So uh, it is uh, a little annoying uh, that they don't give us some kind of like key to know what all these are. Maybe in the future somebody can do that because I was not that person. There's way too much here, but in the meantime, this is what we got. So that gives you guys the tools you need to pimp out Yo Ableton. Um, and so uh, also in the description, I just have a theme that I made that I thought looks really cool and I'm going to include that for free download so you guys can use that and that looks like this so it's like a slate bluish gray tone with uh, blues pinks and yellows um, as you can see I'm also taking advantage of some of the other adjustments here so uh, basically, you're just going to want to download this file from the link in the description, add it to your themes folder, and then adjust these settings and yours will look the same way as this. Alright guys, hopefully that helps you out. Have fun making your Ableton look sweet. Alright, until next time.